Welcome guys back to another edition of Fact Over Feelings. Now I haven't done one of these episodes in a while, so I just wanted to get back into it because I really like doing these segments. And these segments really allows us to put the factual status of what we need to do over our feelings. A lot of times we get our feelings so involved with the things that we need to do and we don't understand the facts. So in this segment of Fact Over Feelings, man, today we're going to be talking about validation. Now, I had a recent young mentor of mine, or a young mentee, I should say, of mine, that was looking for some guidance. He was looking for me to give him something for, I, I don't know, I really don't know what he was seeking for. He was seeking for the validation that I can give him, but I couldn't. I couldn't help him get to where he wanted to go because he wanted me to just say, boom, stamp, you're it. You're you're going to be what you're thinking you're going to be. That's not up for me to decide. That's up for you to decide. That's for you to come to a definite decision in your mind that guess what? You are the person that you are striving to be. Now, in one of my books that I wrote, The Six Must Have Traits to Become an Overseas Basketball Player, I speak in that book, the first chapter is about belief. And I wanted him to understand, and he read the book. He read the book. So that's factual. You got the data. I put that as the first chapter in the book so you can understand that Belief comes with in the person. It doesn't come from me believing in you, even though I can have all the belief in you. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't work. You're looking for my validation to help you to get to the next level. You're looking for me to tell you you're going to be the one. You're the guy. You're going to want who's going to make your dreams come come true. You're the one. Um, that's going to make everything happen for you and your family. You're the one that's going to change your whole life with just one switch. I can't do that for you. You're looking for my validation. Why are you looking for my validation? Yes, because I'm somewhat of a mentor for you. But the whole point of what I'm trying to make is you have to come to a definite decision in your mind that you are going to achieve everything that you desire that you want to be. Everything that you are striving to become has to come from within. I can't be the one that tells you that you're going to become an overseas basketball player or you're going to become whatever it is that you're seeking in life. That's for you to decide. That's for you to come up in your own mind, in your own brain, and come to that decision that this will happen for me. And I feel like this feelings has got too much into himself, which is okay because we all at times get into moments where we, we have doubt, where we wonder if we're on the right path. Well, let's just look at the facts. What are you doing for yourself to get to whatever next level that you are shooting for in your life? What are you doing on a daily basis that push you towards your ultimate goal that you are choosing to achieve in your life? What are you doing and who are you around that's constantly pushing you to get to your next, your next level in your life? But when we come across doubt, our feelings get into it, we feel like we're not worthy, we feel like we need somebody else from an outside source to tell us that, hey, we're going to we're gonna be able to make it and stuff. Now that, you do need good people around you. Now, I don't want to get it twisted that you don't need good people around you to help you and support you and push you. That's what I'm doing right now. This right here is to help support and push you to, to understand that you have to dig deep within yourself and understand within yourself that you got to go find that which you desire. It starts with yourself first. You have to understand that you have to be your biggest supporter. 
Stop looking for other people to be the ones that's going to tell you that you're going to make it. That you're going to be the one that's going to change everything. That's not up for them. You got to understand how many people out here are going for what they want for themselves. They're selfish by nature. People are selfish by nature. They're not worried about you. You might think that, hey, your family, your friends, they all want what's best for you. Yeah, it might come off that way in the beginning. Or it might seem like that as an external source. But really deep down within, they're focused on how can they get to their next level or what their bills are like or what their situations are like. So it's up to you to be your biggest supporter to make sure whatever it is that you're striving for, that you're able to achieve it. My own mother herself did not believe in my dream. People are not going to believe in you until you believe in yourself. It starts with yourself. It starts with, I started validating myself to be the person that I want to be every single day. And when I start validating myself and I start really going after the things that I wanted for me in my life, I didn't need permission. I didn't need someone to say, you can do this. You can achieve this. I said I can achieve it first. I said that I am going to be this person. I said I am going to get everything out of life that I desire. And I got up and I started going after it. And people started seeing that in me. And they then the validation from them started coming. But I didn't need that from them to start. I didn't need that to keep going. I don't need it from them now. I don't need it to keep going. I don't need it. It's great to have people in your corner. But they're only going to believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. Push for yourself. Strive for yourself. Start digging down deep in yourself to get the things out of life that you want because there's times that we we do get down and I myself gets down and I sometimes be wanting to look around to see like who can help me but the real truth of it is ain't nobody coming and save you no one's coming with a white horse and Throwing you on their back and carrying you to nobody coming to save you in this life. It's up to you to save yourself, save your dreams, save your purpose, save whatever it is that you want for yourself. Stop looking all around and asking everybody these questions that's trying to get these subliminal messages that's gonna make you feel like, oh. I'm worthy. You're more than worthy. You're more than capable to achieve, to aspire, to grow, to learn. Everything out of this life that you want. I truly believe that. I truly believe that everything that you want in this life you're going to get. I truly believe that everything that you're striving for and you're pushing for and you're going for, you're going to achieve those things. There's nothing in me that's going to doubt that you're going to not achieve everything in this life that you desire. So if you struggle with doubt, if you struggle with validation, stop looking for it. That's a start. Stop looking for validation from anybody but yourself first. Start really believing in yourself. Start really striving for yourself. Start really going for everything that you want out of this life. If this has helped you or anyone, I ask that you please share, like, you know, do all the things for the YouTube to help push this message out there for everybody that just needs some help with just bigging up themselves and helping themselves. That's all we have for this edition of Fact Over Feelings, man. Remember, believe in yourself more than anything. Until next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.